it's a uh, it's a uh, one minute after seven, so we'll uh, we'll call I guess call the meeting to order. Uh, this uh, just to kind of bring everyone up to speed. This is uh, the first uh, finding hearing that we're having a specific finding hearing. Uh, we have posted it with the with the town clerk and to do a um, to satisfy the open meeting bylaw, the open meeting law rather. But we um, we're not required to to do a full publication and a full notice for a public hearing on this. So. Um, I'm going to, I think going forward, we're going to just try to do these as a little bit more informal to keep them, keep them moving when people need findings just to help Tommy out because uh, Tommy wants to, uh, wants to be coming to us for some things that, um, that the previous building inspector didn't always come to us for. So we uh, will uh, just try to be able to put these on, you know, in, you know, hopefully like two or three days notice kind of less, uh, less burdensome than doing the, uh, the full publication just to kind of bring everyone up I, I don't know if you've heard us me talk about that on the planning call Linda but that's uh that's where that's where we're uh where we're at with this so uh Johnny why don't you uh why don't you tell us what what you what you want to do here and we can so it. what we're looking at doing um I'm actually at the young men's club right now you can see behind me we're looking at adding a deck from this point of the building over to where our handicap ramp comes out coming out from the building um, to have outdoor seating to be, you know, in the, in the warmer weather, fall time for football games. Um, but we were told by Tommy that we needed to go through the uh, ZBA for this to get a variance on it. I'm not sure why we're not encroaching towards the, the road at all. We're just coming out from the building. I know when we did our addition, as you can see, the, the original building is, is brick here. We did this addition, which originally was a smoking room. We didn't need to go to ZBA for it. We did a handicap ramp. We didn't need to go to ZBA for it. So I'm not sure why, but just, just to cover our bases. Um, yeah. We want to make sure we're good. So uh, just for Jason and Linda, it's not, it's not a variance. It's a, um, it's, it's a, a finding. It's, it's a finding. It's a change to the, um, it's a, I think the the issue or the uh, the reason for it, and I and again, Tim Tim might have done things differently than Tommy, but the issue the reason for it is that the the clubhouse is a pre existing non conforming use. It's a it's a private club in an agricultural residential neighborhood, which is um, you would be able to do now, but you would it would require a special permit. So it's not like way out of character with the neighborhood. It would just require a special permit. But because the clubhouse predates the zoning bylaw, it doesn't have a special permit. So that makes it pre-existing non-conforming. But it actually could be where it is, but it just doesn't need a permit because of the timeline that it, when it was put in. So that's what makes it pre-existing non-conforming. So um, Tommy's asked us to consider whether the, um, adding the, the this deck that Johnny just described is, um, the wording is, um, is, so this is a change extension or alteration. We have to make a finding that in order for him to do it that it's not substantially more detrimental than the existing non-conforming use uh, to the neighborhood. Um, my, my thoughts on it, I, I can go first, are that again, like I said, this is something that could be in the neighborhood already. Um, it's not something that's way out of character with the neighborhood. It's a private club. Um, they do a lot of good things for the community. They're, they're, uh, they donate, they donate um, money to the school, to various projects. Um, I, I don't have a problem with it. I don't think um, adding a deck is substantially uh, more non-conforming than what they're currently doing there. Um, I, don't, I don't think there are um, bad relations with any of the neighbors uh, in, in the neighborhood for how the club runs their operations. Um, I know when they did the addition on the pavilion, which is operated under a special permit, which is a little bit confusing, but when they did the addition on the pavilion, um, neighbors voiced uh, concerns about, um, you know, some screening for noise and things of that nature. Um, but as far as I'm aware, I, I don't think there's been any issues after that addition was done. I, I, I think they have pretty good relationship with the neighbors. And um, <clears throat> I, I, so I don't see a problem with, uh, with adding uh, the, the deck from, from my perspective. Um, I think that it's not any more detrimental. Jason and Linda, you have any uh, thoughts? Well, I agree with your sentiments. And I agree 100%. I don't think it's more detrimental than uh, existing non-conforming uses in the neighborhood. Okay. Um, do you have any thoughts on the, on the on the hours that you plan on using it, Johnny? Will be we use the, all the hours of the club? Um, no, it, it won't be the same hours. Um, because of the 
patrolling with a bartender out here serving it. And here's the thing that's different about our club. Our liquor license is for the whole property. So as of right now, I don't know if the three of you are aware we have like car shows on Monday nights. You come in the club, you can walk the property with a drink. Okay. So you're, you're walking about the property. We will do the best to monitor it. So after a certain hour, there's not people out here getting rowdy. There will be no smoking on the deck because food will be served. So we're not going to have people just hanging out here being loud. And, and this is one of the, one of the things I talked about. If we have to put a, like a higher privacy fence on the street side of it, I mean, as you can see, the cars are loud enough going by. We're not going to be louder than that. Um, I've actually visited a lot of breweries who are on the, on the street side. Vanish Valley is a good one in, in Ludlow. They're next to a residential street and they have the outdoor seating and it's not loud. It's not detrimental to the, to the neighborhood. And we're looking to go in line with that. And, you know, if the neighbors do have complaints, we'll curb it. We'll curb the activity out here. You know, we'll make sure that, you know, we don't want to be bad neighbors to anybody. Sure. I don't see a problem with it. Okay. Um, so, uh, I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't, this is in our first like informal hearing here, but I think we'll just still do it the regular way. We'll just, uh, I'll make a motion to, uh, to find, make the finding that the addition of the deck as uh, described by Johnny, not more detrimental than the existing non-conforming use to the neighborhood. Second. Second. Um, then uh, Jason, your vote. Uh, I'm sorry, that was a. Uh, we'll just do individual votes for the, that's we're supposed to do individual votes on Zoom. Okay, so I agree. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, Linda. I agree. And I agree too. So the, the motion passes uh, that we make the finding. I'll write this up, uh, Johnny. I, I think, I mean, I think Tommy would uh, trust your, you telling him, but I'll write this up and file it with the clerk and, and get it to Tommy and then you'll be able to get going on the project. Okay, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right, no problem. All right, guys, have a good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Uh, so th that's it. That's the only thing we had on the schedule for today. Um, like I said, I think what I'll try to do is uh, just like keep these to keep findings together just because we can we can act on them quicker, be a little bit more nimble as a uh, as a, a group. Um, one thing I don't know if either of you have any thoughts on this. Um, I, I don't know if it would make sense for us to pick like a standing a standing date for like a monthly date for the hearings, like the, I don't know, you know, we could do whatever day we want, but the you know first Tuesday of each month have that be our like date. And then when people, then when people like come in, cause it takes like a month to schedule the hearings, right? So then if we were all, if we were always prepared like for like the first Tuesday of the month, say just picking a random date, then when someone comes in, if they come in like after that date, we could, I would know that you guys are available and we could try to get the notice like published and get it on for like the next Tuesday that comes down. I, I don't know. Do you think that would be helpful or, or hurtful to have like a standing date that we try to shoot for when people come in? How often do you think it would be um, once a month, twice a month? I, I mean, I, my, my initial thought was to do it once a month because it like, you know, takes like a month to get things scheduled. So, mm -hmm. you know, because we have the two, because we have to publish it for two weeks in the newspaper that, I mean, it doesn't take literally a month, but it usually takes like three weeks because you have mm -hmm. to, the, the, the publication thing for just for your guys' knowledge is it has to be published in the newspaper two consecutive weeks. And the first time that it's published <laughs> in the newspaper has to be at least 14 days from the day of the hearing. So that, it, you know, so you're looking at at least 14 days from publication to the hearing date. And then, and that's like when Dee Dee finally, when we, when Dee Dee reaches out to the Gazette, they tell her here's the first day that we can run it based on availability. So it usually ends up being more than 14 days to get it published. So my, my original thought, and we don't have to do this. I mean, we can keep doing it the way we did it, but the thing that happens now is the things come in and then. And then I'm trying to find everyone's availability and like, would it just be easier to know that everyone's available on everyone's planning for the first Tuesday? I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm overthinking it, but that, um, cause then. No, I think, made, I think it would make it easier instead of you trying to track everyone down. Can you do this? Can you do that? Like if we just had a set time and I mean, and then if something came up, be like, could we reschedule or something? But like, Right. That, that wouldn't <clears> be the only day that we could ever meet. If, if like, so if somebody right. came in, 
if somebody came in on the Wednesday after our like Tuesday hearing and said, I have a thing that I'd like to try to get done this month. I mean, we could try to get it published and, and get it done that month. Um, but, but then, <laughs> then like if somebody came in on just like a regular timeline, you'd be like, okay, well you missed this month's hearing, but we'll get it published and get you on the calendar for like next month. I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I think I'm okay just, with this. I'm okay with this. Uh, I, I thought we should do it for a while now. So yeah. yeah, we just need to set, in my view, we just need to set a night. Okay. Sure. And then that's, and then I think, um, and if it, if it's working and, you know, one thing that's going to happen, uh, just a flag for you, I know Linda joins like some of the planning calls, but with this widening project of route nine, I think we might mm -hmm. end up having a lot of things come to us over variances about signs. Absolutely. Because, because mm -hmm. all the signs are are really close to Route Nine, and when they widen Route Nine, I don't think they're going to be able to be. Uh, I don't think. I think they're going to need. I think like every business that has to move their sign is going to need a variance. So we might end up in the, with a situation where we're going to need to have a lot of hearings, and I don't really know that the standing hearing like helps for that. But it just might be helpful to have a standing hearing that we can, um, mm -hmm. like I again, just, just kind of have like our bearings for like that we all that I always know you guys are going to be available on that Tuesday and and that we can try to like you know then then when multiple people come in we can like try to we could try to get the like then we would know for instance like you would know the drop dead date for the published thing then when people come in and ask I have a thing we'll say well get me the application and we'll get it published by this date for the hearing on this date like we would like there would be kind of like a set cadence to when we need to get things published and and I don't know, I think it might be easier to manage it that way. The, yeah, the if findings, it streamlines it, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine with me. Would the findings be still on an as needed basis? I think so. Um, and I, I don't know, like, like, I, like, I, like I waived the filing fee for the Young Men's Club because they're a nonprofit and they do things for the town. And like I and, and Bill Dwyer suggested that to me that that we can like do things like that for a nonprofit. I, I don't know if like we end up with doing a lot of findings. We could we could like consider like having a different filing fee or no filing fee because if we're able to do these on, on like an easier way without having to incur, you know, the publication things, like just to make it easier for people who are, who are doing these findings, uh, you know, so I would like to kind of keep the findings separate. And if somebody were to come, you know, if we had a hearing coming up and somebody, you know, I'm, I'm not opposed to, to doing a finding during the other hearings, but I think it just might make sense to have them as a separate track, even if we want to, I, I'm, I'm interested in figuring out whether we should just kind of maybe try to cut people a break on, you know, cost $150 to file with us. Mm -hmm. And that covers the <clears throat> most, for the most part, that covers our like costs of uh, publishing. Um, so, but I think if we don't have to publish, maybe we could consider like cutting that fee down for people just to make it, make it more user friendly um but so those are some of the thoughts that i have and and i just think it's like like again it would especially so say we go to this one time a month thing and we might find that you guys know that the the business like ebbs and flows for us but you might be able to like keep that calendar a little bit leaner by by moving the in between those hearings moving the findings along i don't know uh, those are kind of the things I'm I'm thinking about. It's it's just such a pain with like the the publication notice and, mm -hmm. and like the newspaper ends up being like the middleman in it and um so I don't know. Well, that, I, that, I think it's a good idea to set a, a regular date okay. for the hearings. Um and for the time being, it seems logical to have the findings when we need them. Yeah. Unless mm -hmm. it gets to be a burden, in which case we can right. make a new decision. All right, so I think we should we should shoot for that then. Um, Andrew, have you heard from the town council about this Mark Britton lawsuit thing or anything coming of that? I haven't, but I the the most recent um, uh, letter that I got from the court, uh, you guys probably got the same one. Said the town council had had made an appearance on our on my behalf. I'm assuming you guys got the same one. So I mean that means that we have a lawyer, and uh, I don't think town council will reach out to us if they need anything from us. Mm -hmm. But um, that notification just lets us know that like nobody's going to be like where like expecting us to show up at like a status conference or anything for like the trial for like a hearing. Right. Like, like we have a, we have an attorney like handling it for us. So okay. Um, I think the town town manager or is that, Town administrator and um, town council probably. Town council will reach mm -hmm. out to us if they need any information from us. I mean, I don't, I don't really know what kind of information we have for them, but 
Um, I mean, other than the reporting of the uh, hearing, I don't know what else we could yeah, provide. I mean, I, I, I have, I have, I have notes, but my notes, yeah. are, my notes are pretty <laughs> sparse for the hearings. Well, <laughs> you know, they may ask us for justification of our individual votes. Mine was a nay vote, so I would expect they would ask, um, what, what were my reasons? Yeah, I'm, I mean, maybe, uh, but I, I don't know. I think. I think that I think these things just get uh, settled. To be honest, I, I don't think it's gonna. I don't think they usually go to like a trial, but I don't know. Is it possible he'll be coming before us again? Um, Two I don't years. Know if if like the oh, court yeah, that's right. that, if, the, if the court says that our vote was wrong, I don't know if the court like literally sends it back to us or if the court just like gives him the variance or whatever. But mm -hmm. uh, so I, he could. Uh, I, yeah. Um, I don't even like. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much we should talk about it, but, um, yeah, but he, it could come back to us. Uh, the court okay. could send it, the court could send it back to us. Um, but I, I, I don't, I don't want to spec. Uh, yeah. I don't want to speculate. Yeah. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so, all right. So, um, we might have. We, I know of possibly one other finding that might be coming uh, about the uh, an addition they want to do um, over at the at the the tarot card place next to the the new uh, cannabis shop. So, that, but they didn't. They never got the application in, but they had flagged that one. And then, um, so I don't know. We'll just see. We'll see if um, if Tommy starts telling people they need more findings. Then I think this would be a good way to just kind of keep them moving and help Tommy out, so that we can. Yeah just kind of keep our docket uh, flowing. So what will we feel about choosing a date or just, are, are, is anyone comfortable assigning that now or? Sure. Tuesday, Thursday. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm the same as you basically. We've been meeting on Thursdays for the most part, I think. Okay. You want to just say the, uh, we'll just say the first Thursday then? We'll just try to shoot for the first Thursday of each, uh, of each month. Okay. Would Tuesday work better? For anybody could we do tuesdays either one for me sure all right andrew is tuesday okay for you yeah so we'll, we'll shoot for the first tuesday of each month i'll find yeah. out um i'll talk with jess again and see like how we go about because I, I would like to try to go back to in person at some point i don't think right oh, now i know it would be nicer i don't think right now is like the right time to do it but um so then we have to figure out about room availability but i think right now like there's it's pretty um open just to get uh because because it's a Zoom, right? So I just find out from her if like if I could get I don't need to bore you guys with the details, but we like we have to get it posted on like the town website, and then we have to put an agenda on there to satisfy the open meeting law. Mm -hmm. So I want to find out if we could get a slot like on there that's just always there, and then I could like submit before that slot the agenda, you know. Mm -hmm. Also, minutes. You've been doing this, but. Um... If we're going to be going to a regular one time a month, we probably should have a regular um, rec record of minutes. Okay. All right. So I mean, you've been doing it, but yeah, I mean, I just take notes. I don't even actually really know what minutes are, but is it just my notes? Minutes are yeah. basically notes, like you know, Mr. Galvin stated, or the you know, we decided, and yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, we, we can, we can figure out sure. a more official way to do that. All right. We'll wrap this one up then. Thanks guys. All right. Have a good night. All Thank right. You. You too.